Asking the user to rate your application with a dialogue can be really helpful. After the user has completed his rating, he will then be redirected to the Google Play Store or to the Apple App Store to also give here the rating within this app. In general, it is important to have a high ranking within the app stores because only if you have a high and top ranking within the app stores, then you also get more users to download your application. In our case, we redirect the user only to the app store if they give a high rating. So you can decide if they should have at least four stars rating or if they have five stars rating and then they are redirected to your app store. And with this trick, we make sure that we have the highest rating within our app store. We will also create a dialogue where the user can directly give his feedback. And then you already know what you can do better with your application if you get all the feedback from your users. We will also look at how we can define specific conditions such as that only a rating should show up if there are a minimum of app launches or if there is a minimum of days that the app is installed. And with this, we make sure that the pop-up which we display to the user is not annoying the user. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. To implement this app rating, we make use of this package rate my app. And with this package, you can create on iOS and Android a native looking rating dialog. Let's get started by creating this in-app dialog. And on iOS, you can also rate your application directly within your application. On Android, we need to redirect the user to the Play Store. To get started, we go to our material app and here around we put a rate app in it widget. And this is a widget which we want to create together. Therefore, let's now create this rate app in it widget. Within this rate app init widget, we have first of all a builder and later we want to return here an instance of the rate my app object. And this comes directly from this plugin. First of all, we want to go to our state and here we want to create a new object rate my app. And within our build method, we create then a rate my app builder, which also comes from this plugin. And here inside, we can then initialize our rate my app. And here you can, for example, specify first of all the Play Store ID, which is for Android. And therefore you can set here this Google Play identifier. And I set here right now the package name to a random application because my app is not within the App Store. However, if your app is within the App Store, then you need to put here your package name inside. And how you can get it is by going to your Android folder. And in your Android folder, you have this folder app. And here inside you have this build Gradle file. And then you can scroll here down and then you should see here your application ID, which you need to copy. And after this, you can go back to this widget and you paste it simply here inside. Secondly, we create here an app store ID and therefore we need to get here our bundle identifier and we simply put it here within this property app store identifier inside. And to get our bundle identifier, you simply can click here and click on open in Xcode. And this only works on a Mac. And then you can click here on this runner and here inside you see then this bundle identifier which you need to copy. And then you also can close again your Xcode and you simply paste your bundle identifier here inside. Also make sure that you have the same Play Store ID and App Store ID within your App Store and Play Store website because there you also need to define your package name and your bundle identifier and this needs to be the same, otherwise we have some problems with this application. And by the way, you also need to go to your pubspec jaml file and here you need to add this rate my app under your dependencies inside. Secondly, we need to also set up iOS, therefore we go to our iOS folder here to the runner folder and here we have this info plist file. And here inside you need to add this key value pair inside so that it is also working for iOS. And after we have set up the application for Android and iOS, we simply go to rate my app builder again. And here inside, we also can add this property on initialized. And here we get then every time the rate my app, which was loaded from the shared preferences on your device. And we want to store this instance inside of our rate my app instance. So I simply put it here inside. And with this, we get the rate my app data, which has then different data persisted on your phone, like how many launches your app had or 
when it was installed and so on. And secondly, we need to go to the builder and here we want to create then our pages and our app. So here we simply check if the rate my app is null, then we want to show a loading indicator. And if the rate my app is not null, if it was initialized, then we want to build here our app and we also put our rate my app instance here inside. And now we can make use of this instance and you simply can put it, for example, to your homepage or whatever you like. So you get it here from this builder and put it inside of your homepage. Now that we have completed the setup, we want to create a dialog and here it says then it, that we can rate our application. And if we click on this rate button, then it is opening up our app store or our play store on Android and iOS. Therefore, I have created here a new page with a button and here within this page, we get then the rate my app instance. And this is exactly the instance which we have put inside before within our main file. And now we go to this button and if we click on this button, then we want to call here this widget rate my app instance. And here you have this message show rate dialog. And then you can click here on this button and it will show here up this dialog where it says that you can rate the application and you can also say that you don't want to rate the application. And now if you click on this rate app button, then he is opening the play store of your app and then the user can give a rating for your app and also write a review. The dialog which we have showed before was pretty easy, so we don't have so much customization here. However, now we also want to create our customized dialog. To create our custom dialog, we simply change here the method. So we want to exchange it to a show star rate dialog method. And here inside we set then first of all a title. And this title is then displayed here at the top of our dialogue. You also can set here a message, which we also want to set. And after this, we have here the stars, which the user can interact with. Therefore, let's add first of all the message. And here we define that the user should leave a rating. And after it, we also can define here how many stars should be displayed. And then you can set here the initial rating and I set it to four stars. And this means that we pre-select here four stars for the user and he can later change the amount of stars. And lastly, we want to create here an OK button and a cancel button. And if we click on OK, then he should open up the Play Store or the App Store so that the user can give an additional review and also can leave a star rating. And therefore you have here within this method, this actions builder property where you can set the buttons and this returns then a list of widgets. And we want to put here, first of all, then this cancel button inside if we don't have the stars initialized. However, if we have stars, then we want to show here, okay, button and this cancel button. And now we simply want to create the cancel button and this OK button method. And this is pretty simple. So you simply can use here this rate my app rate button, which comes from this package, which we use. And here inside, you need to put only this rate my app instance inside, which we have put inside before. And secondly, you also can define this text of the button. And we do the same thing for the cancel button, only that we have here this time a different name. So here we have this rate my app no button, which is then for canceling. And here you put then also this rate my app instance inside and the text of this button. And now we can try it out. So I can click here and you see we have here this dialog and the user can also change the rating. And it is important to notice here that if you do the rating on Android, and then you choose here your star and click on OK, then it is not automatically within the Play Store. We only can redirect the user to the Play Store and then he needs to add this rating again. On iOS, this is a bit different. So this is supported by the iOS system that you have an in-app rating. And if the user is then rating your application, this is then automatically also within the Play Store. And with this, the user can now click on OK after he have chosen his rating. And then we have here this pop-up where we go to the Google Play Store and then he can select that he goes to the Play Store and here inside he can give then the rating for your application. And this package is doing this pretty nice. So these both widgets handle all the remaining stuff like going to the Play Store and opening it up so you don't need to care about it. And on the other hand, if you click on this rate my app no button, then he is simply canceling this dialog and he is not opening up this Play Store. Probably you don't want that the user needs to click every time on this button to show a pop-up. Instead, we want to show a pop-up from the system. 
And this is what we want to look at right now. Therefore, we go again to this rate app init widget. And here within this rate my app instance, you can define the behavior of your dialog. And with this property min launches, you can define the minimum amount of launches before your app is showing the rating dialog. And this basically means that if your app was closed, opened, closed, opened, so if it was two times, then we can do some specific behavior. And to add this behavior, we go to the onInitialized method. And here, if the app was then launched, we can then define if the rate my app should open the dialog, which is the condition. And this condition is only true if, for example, this condition is fulfilled that the app minimum launched twice. And then he is going here inside. And here we can then define that we simply show this show rate dialog, which we have defined in the beginning. And now we can try it out. But before this, you also need to set this min days to zero. And we need to combine both of this to make it work. And with this one, we define the minimum amount of days before we show our app rating dialog. And with zero, we define that it should be immediately. However, you can also define here two or three days, like what you want. And this is the first condition which needs to be fulfilled. And the second condition is then minimum launches. And we want to have two launches. And now we can test this condition here out. But before this, we go back to our main file. And here we need to put this rate app init widget inside of the home page instead. And you only need to do this if you face some issues, if you have it here on top of the material app. And after this, you can close your application and then you can launch it again. And on the second launch, you will see that this dialog is popping up. And this is because this rate my app should open dialog condition is true. And this condition is based on all these properties within the rate my app. And here in our case, this is fulfilled because we are here in the second launch and therefore he is going here inside and then he is showing us here a simple dialog. However, you can also put later here your custom dialog inside what you like to show if the app is launching. If the user is not rating your application immediately, you also have here a flag which is called remind days. And this means that we remind the user after one day. And then if he is relaunching the application, then he is also going here inside. And like before, you also can set the launchers so you can remind the user after some launches if he has not rated your app. And the cool thing about this package is if the user clicked here one time on the rate, then he is going to the Play Store and he is rating your application. And after this, the plugin is not going here inside anymore because the condition is not anymore fulfilled because the user has already rated your application. Before we have already created such a dialogue where you can put the stars inside. And next we also want to create a dialogue where the user can leave a comment locally for you so that you also get some feedback immediately. To create this dialogue with the comment, you can go again to your rate my app object. And here, if we call this show rate dialogue method, then you also have here a property which is called content builder. And inside of it, you can then define the content itself, which is here this middle part. And here inside, we want to put then our text field inside. And therefore, I create here a new method build comment. And inside of this method, we create a text field. Then we also give it some decoration. And lastly, if we change this field, then we get here every time this comment and we put it then inside of our state. And therefore, I have created here a new string field where we put then the comment inside. And lastly, we also want to set the autofocus to true. And with this, the dialogue will always pop up and you also see that the keyboard is popping up and we can directly write here our comment. And later, if the user clicked on the send button, then you also can do something with the comment which he has typed here inside. Therefore, you simply go here to the send button and within this button, you have a property which is called callback. And this is every time executed if we click on the send button. And here inside, you can then access this comment field which we have stored in our state. And then you can basically do whatever you like with the comment the user has typed. And by default, if we click now on send, then he is also opening up the Play Store and here in case of the simulator the Play Store is not installed and therefore he is opening up the website. Next we want to look again at the star rating and if the user is putting here some stars inside and is clicking on OK then he is always going to the Play Store. 
However, what we want to do is only to go to the Play Store if he has at least put 4 or 5 stars inside, because we don't want to have a bad rating on our Play Store. To achieve this functionality, we can simply go to our Actions Builder, which is displaying here this OK button and this Cancel button. And every time if we click here on the OK button, then we want to determine based on our stars a specific action. And therefore we get here within this Actions Builder the stars, how many the user has selected. And we simply put these stars inside of our OK button. After this, we want to replace this Rate My App Rate button with our own custom button. And therefore, I create here a text button, which holds then also the same text, OK? However, this time we then can customize the behavior of our button. Therefore, I create here a field which checks that we have at least four stars selected. And if this is the case, then we want to launch our App Store. And therefore, I simply check for this launch App Store condition. And if this is the case, then you can access over your Rate My App this launch store, which will then open up the Play Store or the App Store. And lastly, we also need to call the navigator.pop to hide here our dialog again. And now we can try it out. So I click here and then I select, for example, three stars or less. And if I click on OK, you see that nothing is happening. However, if I select here four stars and then I press on OK, then you see that he is going inside of the Play Store. Inside of this method, you always can also display, for example, a snack bar so that you thank the user for his feedback. And now if he even clicks here on two stars and click on OK, then he sees here the snack bar with the response. And lastly, we want to inform our package system that we have clicked on the OK button. And this is what you can do over this rate my app object here. You call this event and then you call here this event that you have clicked on this rate button, which means that we have clicked on this OK button. And with this, our system knows that the user has given a rating and has clicked here on OK. And then the system knows that it should not show the rating dialog again. And at the end, I also want to show you how you can get all the informations of this package. So you can get, for example, the current launches, how often your app was launched and also the other properties which you have set. And to access these fields, you can then go over this rate my app conditions. And here you can basically then define the condition which you want to get. So in our case, we call you, for example, that we want to get the condition minimum days condition. And over this minimum days, you can then access the minimum days and also the remind days. And these are basically the properties which we have put initially inside. However, you also can access here the launches, how often our app was launched. And this is what you simply get by this condition. Then you simply access here this condition minimum app launches condition. And this returns then this minimum launches object with which we can then access all of these properties. And lastly, you also can access this do not open again condition. And based on this object, you have then here this property do not open again. And this is the Boolean flag. And then you can basically say if it should open the rating again or not. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.